Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdoms of Amma. What the frick is on my back? Yeah, apparently I found this while I was doing some random walking around and, you know, turning into some random errandy side questy stuff. This and another weapon. I, I honestly don't know where I got them and whatnot, but there's these two grotesque blades, this one being the Ferox Sword, which is... Nowhere near as good as my flaming sword of fiery doom, think crap it. But it's like fleshy and bony and some of it has eyes, like they're moving. But this is honestly a pretty decent so well Yeah, the Ferox is still a pretty decent sword if you were I don't know, magey because it steals mana. But this other abomination of a weapon I had found the life drinker did so much more damage than any of the swords that I had made so far and it does bleeding damage over time and it does life steal what the frick I just found this thing in the middle of somewhere I'm not even freaking sure where all I know is that I was turning in some uh, Freeman bands because I could and it was like, oh, hey, BT Dubs, here's this abomination of a weapon that you happen to have found at some point or another. I just, I don't know. I, I really wish I was paying attention of where I got it, because apparently, I looked it up. You can only find it in some random chest somewhere in the world. Strange creatures, these mortals. They wake, they work, they worry. It is a joyless undertaking. The walls now bear the mark of time, of smoke and frailty, and there is more, a wearying of magic. Did these mortals bring it with them in their tents and wagons, or is it a symptom of something much more sinister? Yeah, if that's something sinister as this sword, I wouldn't doubt it in the slightest. Alright, I'm, I'm going to try to, you know, get off the idea of the sword here. It's gonna be distracting, I swear to crap it. Um, I had been going around trying to find these Till's books, which actually I got caught stealing some of those books, and now there's only one book left that I can actually get, and unfortunately it's all the way over here, or over here somewhere. It's one of these areas, and which means I need to progress in the plot in order to even find it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. If I can just, yeah. Old friends, new foes. Yay. Uh, so I got to go to the seed. And hope that they don't go running and screaming at the sight of this sword. I'll try to get off this sword the idea of the sword eventually, I swear. Aha! Yeah, it's, it's a freaking nasty-ass weapon. Like, I know that bow guards aren't much of a thing to swat a fly at, but Jesus. Just Jesus. And the fact that it has life steal, that's, that's kind of the best part about the this sword in general, is just, oh hey, BT dubs. I swallow your soul. It's a good feeling, yo. It's a good feeling. Uh, I'm also mildly trying to actually level up some more because I kind of want to try out or get that uh, champion ability. Not champion. Uh, Warlord? Is that what it was called? I forget. No, Warlord was the highest ranking one. Ah, well. We'll find out eventually. I shouldn't be too much longer until level up. I have, like, halfway there? I have, like, halfway there. Yeah, that makes sense, do Didn't it, though? Didn't it? Huh. Didn't realize that there was some loot over here. Unless this is something that the Bogarts were trying to Bogart. Uh, jokes. Puns, really. It was more of a pun. Finally, entering the gardens of Yisa. This is a good thing.
because now I can use these gardens. Well, I can try to find that person who sells more bag space. And more bag space of, you know, this is really nice. Now I just kind of hope that the elves here aren't going to be like those, uh, ballad folks. Hi. Welcome to the Gardens of Issa, home of the Summer Court and the warm heart of the Feylands. It is a rare occasion for us to welcome a child of dust into Issa, but it is equally rare that Nirland chooses a champion. Pleased to meet you. I am Chancellor to Sorry, was mildly distracted by the uh, eyes on my sword. High King Tetarian is Lord of the Summerfay, the font of all our wisdom, and first amongst the immortals. And since Gadflow tragically murdered the High King of the Winter Court, Tetarian is the greatest and last true leader left of our kind. Cool. So, what's up with Yisa? Truly a place of wonder, as it has always been and always shall be. Here springs the life well of Dalantarth and the greater Feylands in all directions. It is a pity that some of our kind have fallen to such degenerative states, but we cannot shed a tear for their weakness. Sure you can. Later, for now. Uh, give me a second. Weird. I wonder if All are welcome in the I preferred it when the gardens Your coin doesn't feel the desire to explore. Ah, everyone's talking areas. around me again. The bay, convinced of Olaine's threat, agreed to free the town. The people offered thanks and praise and quietly. Once the ill brought to help and the villain had fallen by. But Olaine returned to mortal ground and gifted them with magic found. I don't know what the hell you're talking about on that. I'm going to double check the map to see if there's any local shops. There better be some local shop. Lo local map. Local. I'm having a slight problem with my mouse right now in that, uh... For some stupid arse reason, the damn thing is a little bit askewed. That's right, I was... Reason why being that I was trying this, uh, forced windowy thingy, which is not working as good as I wanted it to be. Probably something better done with, a uh, word, thing, stuff, controller, game based around a controller as opposed to whatnot. And no. items here. Get over here. We don't abide by strangers in Issa. In this city, everyone is family. If you want to get around the peace edict, you'll have to keep your voice down. I don't know what you mean, sir. All I want is to try to find goddamn backpack. Although some of this is really going to help me make better weaponry. God, I hope some of this really helps me make better weaponry. Yeah, yes. Piercing bindings. What do these do? More piercing damage. Ooh. Armor percentage. See, armor percentage is real nice. Okay, then. Uh, but you're not the one I want to talk to. I've got what- If you're looking to buy armor, I'm the only one in Felltown who's authorized to sell it. I'm Gwen a hand, but my customers call me Gwen. I don't oh. have many weapons to offer, on account of the peace edict, but there's still a selection to pick through. Have at it. Oh, I'm guessing the peace edict is this, uh, thing that prevents people from buying and selling and having weaponry. Which I can get behind, honestly. If it- you know, keeps the peace in the town. Hmm. 
Oh, okay. Come back again. Nope. Uh, I got it. It's been slow today. Here. Nice to see someone who's. I don't care about being slow today. I wonder how she got the ability to sell stuff without to worry. Oh, apparently it's not you who I have to. I, I I'm gonna I'm just gonna yeah. A reminder: I cannot, in fact, uh, break down purple equipment for some reason. Also, this crystalline band, as nice as it is, is only for magicka builds. So, yeah, away it goes. He's interested in doing business for a change. Nice talking. Now, there's a trainer over here. What is it, friend? You've been watching me long enough. What is it? Did I wrong you in another life, brother? Dude, I just want to see what you got for training. Oh. You got nothing. You are useless to me. I'll be here. Sure you will. Alright. Let's quickly salvage some of this stuff we already got. Yeah, good stuff. You gotta love uh, finding absolutely random piece of equipment. No, uh, I guess they wouldn't be here. I'm trying to more or less just figure out where it is that everything is. Here. Hello. Hi. There's a trainer in here in the embassy hall. I'm gonna have a chat with them. Trainer. Ooh. Uh, I can't steal either of these, can I? Dang it. Well, I could steal them, but that's already a bad idea. As, uh... Yeah. I already have, like, two or three cities that really hate me because I stole a book. I didn't kill anyone on the way out of the cities. I just stole a book. Varani only. Uh, Gesundheit? Talk to me. Aren't you bold? This is the Varani wing of the embassy, and few venture here without being summoned. I am Ambassador Advar, he who bloodies the waters. Well, that can't be good for the water. What? Alright. The Varani allow the purchase of several titles for use in the gardens of Issa. They are rare, and should be worn with great respect. Oh. Um... Guardian of Arms. That this title cool. carries with it much history and much responsibility. Do not take it for granted. I proclaim you Guardian of Arms. Cool. Leave me to my business. Okay. That's all I really wanted out of you, guy. See whether or not you trained in anything useful and see if you could get me anything that might be a little fun. I like having titles. I don't know if the title is actually doing anything in this, like it does in Fable. Like Chicken Chaser. <laughs> Gotta hear me call that. Classic Fable. Ah, excuse me. Alright, what do we got in here? Presenting he, the wisest Imperator, the Guardian of Arms. Hey, there's me. <laughs> Hello there, pretty. Hey there, pretty. This is Asker's Alley, best tavern in Issa. Only tavern in Issa, of course, but you didn't know that, did you? If you're new in the city, I can help. I know everything. About the Understyle, the Embassy, the Scolia Arcana, you name it. I know it all. Do you know where I can buy a backpack? Ring of Expansion. Ah, more experience points. Neat, but no. There you are, you glorious, glorious thing. Boom. Item carrying limit increased by 10. Bye now. I honestly get a little annoyed realizing that some qu some games do that whole, oh, Go it's away. only as the item slot, which means you end up taking it up, taking up an entire item slot for something like, you know, freaking picks, lock picks at that. 
which is really annoying as a mechanic, but I guess it's a lot easier to do of an algorithm than, you know, giving everything a weight value. Oh, there's one more trainer off to the side there. Mortals everywhere. Damn straight we are. Now, I'm just going to see about what Presenting. trainer... He, the wisest Imperator, the guardian of arms. That's me again. Ah, that's gonna get annoying really quick, oh, isn't it? Uh, you will have to excuse my state, your grace. The House of Ballads rarely sends its ruler to meet with me. I usually entertain mortals from Thelltown. I don't know what that is. But you're gonna raise my alchemy, so train me. Do come see me again. Yay! Welcome oh, to the Lyceum Grove, my train liege. Me more. How may I oh, aid the House of Ballads? Farewell, mortal. Dang it. Most of these places are. Most of these people are supposed to be able to train me, like, up to at least yes? three in a skill. Which makes me a little bit worried about what the hell. Why, why is this mechanic now working? But. Maybe it's one of those things where I have to wait an X amount of time in order to be able to do so. Eh. Oh well. Let's continue with the main plot. As there's a bunch of people are running around, but for some reason they're not very talkative in this game. To the font! I like Comic Sans. Don't test me. Dude, chill your... Yeah. High King Tatarian is waiting for you. Please place the codex before him, and he will continue. Okay. It's been a long time since I've been here. I got a thing for you, sir. Oh, that's a neat pedestal. Conceived in chaos, birthed in stolen magic, torn from fate, child of two fathers, treacheries in treacheries, winter is broken. Puppet king upon his throne, drinking flattery and lies. The power that grows in him is not his own. <laughs> in the east it did begin, as it will end. As it will end. From behind the veil she screams. Madness and rage. Madness and rage. We realize this may be confusing for you. Fate, like the Fae, cannot be changed. But the Tuatha are Fae who have become something new. And you are a mortal who is free from Fate's weave. Gadflo claims that the Tuatha are the work of his new god. If the Tuatha are the creations of a god, what does that make you? Very confused. The time of the Fae is passing. Our land and our souls are diminishing. Few Fae even realize that the great cycle is shifted. Gadflo's war means the death of us all, Fae and mortal alike. It is written in the weave that we shall all pass from this world together. It is too late for us, but not for you. That is the fate which I look to you to change. 
Wait, so you want to make it so as it's too late for me and not for you? Is that it? I really don't know. Click. Right. Even with the power of a god, you have the humility of a mortal. Perhaps this gift has found the correct person. This is a time of great change. Change we once thought was impossible. We were wrong. So, what's that mean? You are intertwined with the power in the East. There can be no doubt of that. Your energy reaches back to Alabastra. We do not know what will happen when you travel there, but we know that the power behind Gadflow is your ultimate goal. His god holds your answer and the fate of this world. I mean, I'll do it. Just, you know, kind of want to get paid for it. I thank you. And perhaps you can help change our world's fate as well. I have seen those who were destined to be heroes, for whom great deeds came naturally. They come, they act, and they pass on as written. You do great things not because you must, but because you choose to. That is by far a far truer greatness. I mean, you can't make me fight, but... While the war isn't really my concern, Gadflow will be stopped. Admirable. But strength of will cannot see you through this alone. You may be unbound by fate, but you are not free from death. Speak with your allies. Only with their aid can you hope to overcome the forces that stand against you. Hey! Unwritten one, truly a blank slate, able to choose your own destiny as written and proclaimed, as witnessed and proclaimed by the High King Titarian himself. Those are some nice bonuses. Nowhere near as good as my bonuses I get from my uh, warrior stuff. Also, achievement. Cool. Uh, bye. Oh, so I, I guess I gotta... <laughs> I'll talk to you first. I couldn't make out half of what the king was saying, but it sounds like you've got your work cut out for you. Good thing you won't be facing it alone. In fact, I think I've got a lead on finding an old friend of ours. What old friend? Old Felmerus Hughes, of course. If anybody can help, it's bound to be the gnome who brought you back to life. I've been asking around and I was able to make contact with his superior. He thinks he might be able to help find Hughes. Wait. The... Yeah, isn't he supposed to be dead? No, he's a crafty one. If he got away from those assassins in the lab, like you said, I'm sure he found some place new to hide out. And if anyone's likely to know where he'd go to find safe haven, it'd be the Templar who sponsored his work. His name's Octien. Go southeast to the Hollowlands. Templar Octien will be waiting there to discuss how you might find Hughes. <sighs> of course I gotta go. Yep, all the friends that I need. All the friends that I need. Let's see. Great General. Wait, unsure? Oh. You're gonna voice me. Eh, fine, I'll collect the quest. Ain't gonna promise nothing from her. Who would have thought you were so interesting? Death seems to have worked out very well for you. Agarth's looking for escape. Neuralem's looking for a savior. And Tatarian is looking for a champion. And somehow, you're giving everyone what they want. I'm impressed. But what is it you're gonna want me to do? Agreed. We are facing more important problems than your ongoing identity crisis. The Tuatha have laid siege to the eastern city of Mel Senshir for years, and the time has come to break it. Uh... A few years ago, one warrior could have slipped past unnoticed, but stealth is no longer an option. Not even for me. But there is hope. In the plains of Erethel, there waits a player who has been away from this game for far too long. It is time to contact General Talera. Meet me in the village of Emer, and I will tell you everything. 
No, you're not. Be on your way. You're not gonna tell me dick diddly. So I gotta freaking meet with the Templar. Gotta meet with some general dude who is apparently aligned to Len. Which is not exactly something I want to do because I feel like I'm going to get stabbed in the back at a moment's notice by anything and anyone that is connected with her. Good times. Wait, is that Templar not going to be in Odessa? I would think that they would be in Odessa because, you know, Templar. Or my derping. Where is it he said it, sh he, she, it would be? Uh, from the Well of Souls, once you meet in the Hollowed Lands of Detir. The Hollow Lands. Where the hell was that? Never actually got to the Cradle of Summer, did I? Oh well. Fine, I'll walk out here and see where the hell it is that they want me to go. Map. Local. Now, it wants me. Huh, I hadn't actually explored this entire area. Or this area. Oh. Damn, that's gonna be quite a ways. Wonder if I can get there in this uh, th in the next three minutes or so. Not that I'm actually trying to, you know, speed run this anymore or whatnot, but hey, I think the sun just rose. Wonder if I can get through without much uh, bloodshed and being stopped by everyone in existence. Probably not. It's mostly going to be a bunch of running. <coughs> and it's a murder. Off our land. I don't know what you're talking about, Yorland. I'm just here to visit the gnomes. Wait, unless the gnomes had actually gotten in some... I don't know. I'm trying to think whether or not like the gnomes are actually huge douchebags who took the land from the... Uh, people that were here before them. It's kind of likely. Somewhat likely. It's very likely. I don't know. These gnomes kind of seem like the kind of dicks who would do so. Also, I ain't gonna lie, kind of prefer this sort of... If only because it's not so loud. You know what I'm saying? It's not making weird lightning noise or flamey flushy noises or loud explosion noises. It's just making classic e sword noises. I can get behind classic e sword noises. Oh. I don't know why you're outlaws and I don't care. Just stop getting in my path. Can I can't drop anything. I don't know if you're dropping anything but experience points. I suppose I shouldn't have much of a problem with this because I love experience points. Leveling up in these kind of games? Awesome. I don't want to know what that crumbling rock sound was. Probably just crumbling rocks. And nothing more. Could have sworn I'd been here before. Hmm. <laughs> Odd. Or I have been here before and it's just, you know, desolate. Has nothing in it. Also a possibility. Many things in this world are a possibility. Like giant flipping spiders. I'm, I'm just gonna run from the other giant spiders. I really don't want to deal with spiders. I said I don't want to deal with spiders. Take the hint. Really glad that the battle frenzy, frenzy is uh, as powerful as it is. Okay, fine. 
Come on. No. You guys want to deal with this? You, you get to deal with it. Oh, look at that. Giant freaking spiders of doom. Also, I do have the ability to uh, forge a better flaming sword of fiery doom. I just haven't gotten around to it. Mostly because I was like, eh, you know, I just made this one. So I should wait until having to make another one for now. Because I'm lame like that. I like to use a weapon for a little while before I suddenly decide to replace it. That said, I do realize that the Azure Striker that I had made was like two or three episodes of using it before I had ended up replacing it with this thing, the Life Drinker. I don't know. Honestly, it's a pretty decent trade-off. Oh. Fake Gorta. Oh, actual zombies. Oh, the zombies don't get flinched. Well, they do die, which is the good part. Good lord, how much further is this thing away? Not too much further. I guess there was several places I really haven't gone in this place yet before you- oh. ah, I know what I'm trying to say. Several places I've not been to yet in this place before even getting into the next area. Well, the next continent over- the continent over to the east is what I'm trying to say. But I'm very poor at saying things, it seems. As a large ass animal. What is this? Skeleton. Well, oh, in a potion. Uh, well, of course you gotta go around. Yeah. Nope. Bad skeleton. Ow. Whoop. Ah. Ah, I love when they leap into it and I decide to actually manage to slash into them. It's that classic sort of cinematic battle style of, Oh, I've got the upper hand. Oh, wait to no, know you are the one with the upper hand. Again, don't quite know what the hell I'm up to even rambling about. Wait, am I gonna have to go around? I am gonna have to go around. Dang it. Well, you ugly. Okay. Suppose I shouldn't be surprised that there's creatures like the Merg in here. I don't quite know what that was about, but okay. Oh, it's because I had managed to kill it. My god, I'm finding some really good weapons. Blasting Greatsword. Eh, uh, screw it. Um, screw it. Whoa. I didn't even get cursed. Awesome. That's like the second time I managed to try to get one of those to get, you know, used and not get cursed. Steel Helm. What is Hello, it? Hello, gnome. You! You are my contact! I should have known. Punctuality is not one of your people's strengths. And you have so few. Well, this is going to be fun. You may recall our mutual friend, Formerus Hughes. The gnome who brought you back to life. I suspect you would. But I gather you've been quite busy. Well, Scholar Hughes has been missing since the attack on his tower. As his patron, I am quite concerned. I want you to find him. You are, how shall I say, uniquely suited to the task. That's what everyone keeps saying. It 
Would seem the incident in Alistar made Scholar Hughes a touch uh, paranoid. Every time we receive a clue about his location, he vanishes before I can reach him. But he's running out of places to hide. It's my opinion that there's one hope left to finding Hughes. You. Ah, here's a little answer to me. Fine. Satisfy your curiosity. As long as you keep Hughes safe, I will not stand in your way. Hughes has an old laboratory in the cavern of Saltwell Mines. I believe he's been conducting research there since the destruction of Alistar Tower. Find him, and you will be rewarded for your contribution to science. I will await your success in the Lavrarium in Edessa. Just no, you know... None of that whole trying to dissect me like some of your colleagues were going to do. None of that, please. Anyways, I'm going to call an episode here. When we return, we're going to try to find Formerus Hughes, who is uh, my Dr. Frankenstein to my Frankenstein's monster. Yeah, good analogy. Yeah, I think so. Anyways, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care. Cheers.